Hi everyone, Colleen here from Ultimate Backyard. Today, I'm excited to talk about Australian native ground cover plants. These plants are perfect for creating a low maintenance yard. And stick around till the end because I've saved my favourite for last. And if you're interested in native Australian plants, we've included links to some of our most popular native plant articles in the comment section below. First up, we have Grevillea Purinda Royal Mantle, a popular choice with its lush green foliage and striking red toothbrush flowers. It spreads easily, covering several metres, and its coppery new growth adds extra appeal. Next up, Dichondra repens, also known as kidney weed. This ground cover has small, green, kidney-shaped leaves. It thrives in lightly shaded spots, but can also handle full sun. It's great for replacing lawns in shaded areas as it doesn't need mowing, but it's not for high traffic areas. It's ideal for garden beds and rock gardens, thanks to its dense growth that helps prevent weeds. Moving on to a Juga australis, commonly known as Austral Bugle. It grows to about 0.1 to 0.6 metres tall and up to 0.5 metres wide. With tubular mauve flowers blooming in spring and summer, it's native to eastern Australia and works well for erosion control and weed suppression. Now, let's talk about Brachysgum multifida, or cutleaf daisy. It's a hardy perennial native that adds a pop of colour with its white, pink or mauve flowers. It loves full sun, well-drained soil and is drought tolerant once established. These daisies are perfect as ground covers or border plants and look great with other Australian native grasses and perennials. Next we have Chorizema cordatum, or heartleaf flame pea. This dense shrub grows one to two metres tall and spreads up to one metre wide. It's a Western Australian native that blooms from spring to summer with yellow, orange or red flowers, attracting butterflies and bees. Chrysocephalum apiculatum, known as common everlasting or yellow buttons, is part of the Asteraceae family. It grows up to 60 centimetres tall and 50 centimetres wide, with yellow flowers and thin green leaves. This plant's appearance varies due to its wide distribution around Australia. Before we move on, I have one big favour to ask of you. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It will only take a second and is the best way to support us. OK, back to the video. Grevillea Bronze Rambler is excellent for larger areas, spreading 3 to 5 metres. It has dense foliage with deeply divided leaves and toothbrush-shaped deep red flowers. It's frost and drought tolerant and grows in most soil types. Hibertia scandens, or climbing guinea flower, is a hardy climber reaching 1 to 2 metres in height and 4 to 5 metres in width. Its large, star-shaped yellow flowers bloom in spring and summer. It's ideal for erosion control and tolerates light frost and soil salinity. Pelagonium australi, or Austral Stalks Bill, attracts butterflies with its bright pink flowers. It's an evergreen ground cover growing 0.3 to 0.7 metres high and 0.5 to 1.5 metres wide. Pycnosaurus globosus, also known as billy buttons, grows up to 1.3 metres high and 1 metre wide. Its bright yellow globe-shaped flowers bloom in spring and summer. It's easy to care for and prefers full sun and free-draining soil. Our own native violet, Viola hederacea, is one of the best ground covers for shaded gardens. It forms a dense mat of dark green foliage with white and purple flowers appearing in spring and summer. This plant likes moist soil, but not waterlogged conditions. Scavola albida, or small fruit fan flower, has small blue fan-like flowers. It blooms in spring and summer and prefers full sun and well-drained soil. It tolerates drought and moderate frost. Grevillea obtusifolia is a dense growing grevillea ideal for coastal areas. It has small, spidery red and cream flowers, tolerates light frosts and grows well in full sun or light shade. It will benefit from a yearly prune after flowering. And finally my favourite, Hardenbergia violacea, the purple coral pea. In spring they bloom and cover the top of the bush in a stunning display of colour. They're also perfect for pollinators like bees and butterflies. But keep in mind that it is frost sensitive, especially when young, so is best planted in late winter or spring. And that's our list. 
but I'd love to hear your thoughts on these plants. Have you used any of them in your garden? Let us know about your experiences and whether you have any tips for others looking to grow native ground covers in their garden. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.